Um, I am sitting here on the verge of tears. I'm watching. It's November 28th, 2021. I had court yesterday. Scariest thing ever going into a room where they can just make you disappear and hurt you and you have no say about it. That is what living in New York is like during the century 20 year 20 second decade first year um, I have been I have been drugged and I have been scarred by I don't know what device woken up with wounds of medical procedure of some sort, um, all investigated by I don't know whom, because then they don't follow up. Um, never talked about, never discussed, just left to just wander. Now I'm watching TV television um after the news I don't normally like sit around long enough I'm normally walking or observing the weather or my health uh, medical whatever at the moment. however on the TV this morning comes let's make a deal and there is a contestant I don't I don't like casinos. I don't like gambling. I don't like taking chances, honestly. Um, it's not, it's not who I am, but um, I put on the TV and the host, who seems mild mannered and innocent and like, and I've mentioned before, through my life that, you know, he just has a good persona for this particular venue of host. Um, like a fun carnival, whatever. His first contestant is a man who's wearing a picture of a globe um, with the continents. He, the man, mentions that there's seven continents and that he's visited five in his lifetime. And um, I find that interesting because I have only been able to visit my grandfather's, my, my father's birthplace in El Ronzo, Italy, um, being Europe continent, and my grandmother's also in Europe, uh, but the same continent and where I, where my birthplace was in North America. Um, and I am just curious when they make laws or they try to determine things for who is seen. I mean, this man is not in the government. So how did this man get to five continents? And how does he have so much excess resource? And I mean, I can't even afford a house. I can't find walking. I mean, at this point, I'm down to my feet and walking in the village looking for work. But I couldn't afford my own apartment and social, like, there's no any of this. I don't understand how this man was able to make it to five trips on airplane to, or however he got there, five times, five different continents. That seems to me like more of a global terrorist than I would be cons considered. However, in New York yesterday, the court system made me feel like for documenting the health issues I'm going through, which are severe, and not in, uh, not mental, 
They're just what I don't have work that's paying work. So I'm going out and I am looking for what could be causing. I'm in a fallout shelter, like if it's posted. I don't know what that means either for grand schematic of things. I don't know if that means I'm in a safety zone or I'm exposed further. It gets really confusing. I didn't feel this exposed in Suffolk County. I feel really exposed in New York City. Um, especially with what I can visually recon on just the restaurants and business owners on Bell Boulevard um, of what the signage says and the available cuisine and some of the populations, it also scares me for being able to communicate effectively uh, to something that I might need. From internet and TV, for um, for month each. This says it's under something called a 2021 Charter Communications. Um, this is the company I was out in Suffolk County when I last had a TV um, um, and I needed Animal Planet and things for the children um, for educational purposes um, and for um, trying to educate myself on what was going on and what was being displayed during the Trump um, and Hillary Clinton um, to see what was being said and what um, made sense or what didn't make sense about the entire event. Um, but the, which the whole thing was confusing, honestly, um, just at front face being couch potato and uneducated or not brought into the whole situation. Um, so I had Optimum. Optimum in Suffolk County all of a sudden one month just sent me a spectrum bill like Optimum had gone out of business. There was no warning. There was no vote. There was no asking if I wanted to switch. I mean, it's, it, there's no, there was no reason given. There was no warning of how it might affect me personally or my family or who was part of this sudden takeover of communication. None of that was discussed. So it leaves me again in a uniquely blind situation. Not that my 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 sight is blind. It is just a unique blind, as in what I've displayed before on Pattern in the Wall, where there's a whole lot of moving pieces and I'm in a hole where I am trying to find communication devices to figure out what's going on but it's been incredibly diff difficult as things shift. Um, but this was part of that company. That's not, I, they, I believe they offer now the spectrum inside New York City, but I'm not in charge. I have no money. I have no work. Lewis has something called a Verizon. He does not have spectrum. I do not know why. Call 833-985-4499 or visit Spectrum.com. Complaints over a cut-rate cameraman. Next Judge TV. Big box. Okay, I want the curtain. Here we go. Curtain number three. We ain't on here to win me. I am going for the prize. Two. Chief Wrangler. In this area, I know the Jeeps have different logos. Even this one displayed a Rubicon. I found that interesting for rubrics. Um, in my local area, I've seen um, three, I think three, possibly four, but one was not that type of Jeep with a fourth message on it that was different. Not that I'm gonna recite them, but it is so. They know who they are.
He's what's considered the host of the show. Um, and then there's guests that dress in costume. Um, but it's not the respectable costume of, I've used that word as like a broad umbrella before, more of theatrical um, displays. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these kinds of shows. Keith, what about Keith? Tell us about you. So, Keith, I am 31 years old. I live here in West Hollywood, California. Okay. I love it so much. I'm, I work in retail, but the reason why I'm the globe right. is because I have been to five of the seven continents. Which ones have you been to? Okay, so obviously I live here in North America. Uh, South America, I went to Colombia. Asia, I went to Indonesia, Europe, I've been to Paris, and which one am I missing? <laughs> and I've been to Ghana. I'm saving Australia for my honeymoon, so hopefully one day I'll get one. Well, maybe and we'll have a trip to Australia on the show. That would be amazing. Could be. And Antarctica's just too close, so I'll just leave that way. <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave, leave yeah, it alone. It's okay. Don't well, Keith, that, thank you so much. I hope that we can help you out with that travel. Thank like, you. And, uh, and let's see, I can't read your name tag. Is it Lisette? Lisette. Lisette, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. It's cool to meet you, but who's that? This is Luigi, Luigi Linguini the Weenie. He's just like, what the hell am I doing yeah. here? <laughs> These people are dressed more oddly than I am. Yeah, right. He loves it, though. So where are you from? What do you do? Um, I'm a native of California. I live in Palm Springs. I'm retired. Um, Ex-mud wrestler from the 80s. Ex-bandstand dancer from the 70s. Oh, yeah. uh, you just... She just skimmed over the, the mud wrestling yeah. and the American bandstanding of it all. Yeah, yeah. we actually um, taught the village people. What we did, it, we invented the YMCA hand movements on the show. So that's a little bit of trivia. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. And lastly, Angela, nice to meet you. Oh, you are the big box deal. I am. I am the big box. I want the big box so bad. <laughs> now, now what do you do? What do I do? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. I am a stage manager for a local nonprofit theater company. Oh, give her a big round of applause. The stage managers never get enough love. Yes, thank you, If you don't have someone to call your show, how's everyone going to know what to do? They, they don't know how to do anything. It'll be mayhem. Chaos. So, thank you all for being here. We have deals. Hopefully we'll... We had a theater, like a stage theater, um, in the local area. I don't know why, when, or what the circumstances regarding it, but the theater company somehow, I don't know if it dried up, it moved out, but it closed. And then the building was converted to something else. It's got some residence, uh, um, it, it's got some offices, it looks like. Um, but they took away a, the theater company, which could house musicians and all sorts of things at some point in my life frame between my grandfather, my father, and my life frame. And I'm not I'm I'm unclear why. I mean perhaps Lewis knows, but I do I wasn't made aware. Hopefully we'll have a big box for you. Maybe there'll be a trip and maybe we'll throw a little something for Luigi. But you're really gonna know this to play. Let's start off with a game called No Complaining. I don't have to even explain this. You'll find out why it's called that. Keith, I've got a little something for you. In my hand, I've got a $50 bankroll. Now there's $50 on the outside. We don't know how much money is in the inside. Could be ones, could be hundreds, could be anything in between. Take the bankroll, Keith, or you could take the big box. Which one would you like, Keith? I want the big box. Oh. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much money you passed on. $50 on the outside. 50s on the inside. 34 of them to be exact. You passed on $1,750. Okay. Tiffany, what's in the big box? Look at that, Keith. 
I'm gonna pause this for a second. I gotta go on the Don't let you down under or your didgeridoo. I won't. So, the set. Got a little something for you. Okay. Yep. Love the didgeridoo. You sure? Getaway of style and elegance awaits you for three nights in the beautiful Hotel EMC 2 autograph collection. Combining elements of art and science, this boutique hotel sits in the heart of downtown Chicago. Enjoy breakfast for two, dinner at the chef's table in the Albert restaurant, and all the nightlife Chicago has to offer. Roger Bear Fairies included in this deal were $4,131. Say you're not working out for people. Keep, you get to go to... Now, I don't know. I've heard something called Universal. I don't know if that's part of it, but that gets to be really confusing. Go to Chicago, the set, you get to drive around on a scooter. Now, Angela, do you like Chicago? I've never Do been. you like Vespas? Oh, si. <laughs> ah, it's Italiano. So si, si. Ah. Uh, sono andato a Viterbo per sei mesi. Ah. Si. ah. So, you could go to Chicago, you could take that Vespa, or you could take curtain number two. Now, we don't know what's behind curtain. Must have high blood. There's L'Oreal, Tylenol, Macy's. Some new drug company. Do you see a sight? Uh, Italian flu lip? Oh, uh, well, a little bit. <laughs> very, very if you can small welcome the audience back to Let's Make a Deal in Italian, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I also know what this man says. This feels very sports book and that commercial of Caesar on sports book that I've caught before. Wayne, I really want to thank you for this whole entire production. I love your show. It's my favorite show on TV. I got in a motorcycle accident about two years ago and I was in the hospital for three months. So you guys brought so much joy. That's when I discovered you guys. And you guys make me laugh every single morning. You are so witty. Jonathan, I love your dance moves. Cat Gray, <laughs> you are doing it. Yes, I love it. And Tiffany Coyne. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Danny, thank you so much. No, thank that you, is... guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, hearing that always makes us happy yeah. because it's one thing to just be able to, you know, we, we give away money and have fun, but to know that we made a difference in someone's life, that's just the best thing, man. Yeah, so, I really thank you, brother. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Well, let's see if we can make a difference yeah, in your life today. Yeah. 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 Tiffany, let's number three. Um, I heard, incidentally, at the same time when Lewis was taking me to court yesterday, um, there was a broadcast on one of the AM radios, I don't know whom, but they said that um, there's something about, uh, and I don't know who's involved, because again, I don't get that kind of news, and I don't have access to the radio only through Lewis's car. Um, but he said that there something happened with one of the soccer uh, sports things and um, not, not necessarily money laundering, but trying to gain favor and make oneself look more innocent than they really are through the the affections of, say, a sports arena and a sports league of some sort, um, which I've also touched on briefly my concern for. I don't know how any of the 
sports in America works because I, again, they're just like the lawyers speak their own language. The sports announcers and teams seem to speak their own language that I don't speak, even though it sounds English. Um, I would have to sit down and have somebody who, a broadcaster or something, explain it to me if not, I mean, it's more of a whatever, but, um, so, um, that's my concern at the moment, um, star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Ketter is a, it's Tuesday, um, and it's on special whatever that I did earlier, which I don't normally do, the number that they gave me was number four two. Um, as a cross-reference, um, star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Caterusa.